right, so have you seen the show? Do you know how the how it goes, or do you want me to give you a rundown? I mean, give me a rundown. It's been a minute. Right. So. All right, welcome to Heavy Petting with Sherry Hardman. Today's guest is Ken Hamlet. Hey, Ken. Hey. 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 Ken's one of my favorite people, um, not only in comedy, but in the world. He's hilarious, and I'm glad to have you here today. Um, Thank you. You want to tell me a little bit about your friend there? Yes. This is Wilbur. Uh, he's my English Bull Terrier. I've had him since 2012. Just about 2012. He's uh, eight and some change. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's been my dog for a while now. I got him as a puppy when I was in college at Western Oregon University. My wife actually bought him for me as a Christmas gift. So. Ah. Is there a particular reason that you got that breed or um so they're just interesting dogs like they're just <laughs> he has his own personality he's a wild dog um i loved i was like i got caught up on youtube one day and i was just watching all these interviews or like these these videos of like english bull terriers um i'm really into dogs i love dogs and so i got just randomly found english bull terriers and they're just crazy jokester dogs and i was like oh i'm a comedian i love jokesters let me, <laughs> let me get this crazy dog uh, so that was kind of the thing she just saw me watching a lot of the videos and just loving their personalities uh -huh. and so she's so, like oh, uh, i'll get you, get you so what's like a, a quirk that he has See how many um he yeah tons <laughs> so one thing that english bull terriers do are bully runs and uh i watch a lot of videos of them and they just run in circles over and over uh -huh. again so like however big the space is they'll just run in circles and it's cute on video, uh, but it's very destructive in person because uh, <laughs> he actually tore a hole in an apartment because he doesn't stop. He'll just run and bounce off of the wall with his body. And so he just hit his <laughs> butt on the wall and just knocked a giant hole in the wall, um, but then kept going. So that was. <laughs> <laughs> so do they do that in the same place all the time or just wherever they are, feel like doing it? Just, yeah, like, wherever he's happy at, he's just like, all right, bully run time. Let's freaking run in circles. <laughs> well, and, he's pretty uh, calm uh, right now. Yeah, because I picked him up. So now he's just uh, like, oh, I'm happy I'm in dad's lap right now. And how much does he weigh, do you know? like, uh, He's about mid-50s to 60s. Yeah, oh, that's, my, what, too much. <laughs> that's what I thought. He looks about the same size as our, one of our dogs. It weighs about that much. Yeah. Um if Wilbur could uh, write a review for you as an owner, what would he say about you? Ooh, all right. So early years, he was a great owner, always go out and play, um, fantastic, always around. Now I'm gone all the time, uh, which recently I've been home a lot. So he probably loves that. Uh, but <laughs> in the last like two years, two and a half years, mm -hmm. he's been gone a lot, doing a lot of comedy. So it's always gone, spend less time with him. So he kind of, he probably hates me. Nah, I mean, dogs love their owners regardless. So he's always right. happy to see me, but less, I less attentive. Know. Yeah. Does, uh, have you noticed him changing like his loyalty more towards your wife or not? No, no not yeah. even close. <laughs> they, they decide who their, their dominant person is and it's always that way, isn't it? Yeah, he does not change at all. He just loves me from when he was a puppy <laughs> till now. Uh, well, he's very sweet. Do you have anything, any tricks you want to show us? or? Um, yeah, I'll, have to, I'll move the camera around so we can do okay. some tricks. <laughs> all right, do it. Right. Give him a chance to show off. All right, let's see. Uh, that's, is that a good enough angle? I probably want it down a little bit more. No, that's too close to the edge of the seat. That's perfect. All right, Wilbur, come here. Come here. Sit. Good job. Shake. No, sit. Shake. Good job. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. Bang, bang. Good job. <laughs> Uh, good job, Wilbur. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're uh, 
mid, uh, what do you want to call this, pandemic right now. Everybody's yeah. kind of sheltering in place. So um, gives you a lot of time to reflect and reminisce or, you know, maybe do some new um, adventures anyway. So when we're talking about heavy petting of the human variety, uh -huh. I'm going to clarify because, you know, you might have a younger fan base that's never heard that term before. But heavy petting is like <laughs> sexual sexual activity stopping short of intercourse. Okay. Yeah. Back in the day, we used to call it making out. But anyway, so do you have any fun stories about heavy petting of the human variety that you could entertain us with? Yes, I have a very funny story, actually. Um, <laughs> and this, this heavy petting it ended on my own. Uh, it was my fault. It was my fault, actually. Um, so with this story, it was, I, I want to say it was my 20th birthday. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this was my 20th birthday weekend. Um, a lot of me and my friends, we drank a lot. Uh, it was like a, it was me, my twin brother. We were on the campus together. One of my good friends, Devin, and then uh, one of my like best friends, Maude, at the time, we all had birthdays in that same weekend, so we just drank a ton, and then um, partied all night long, <laughs> and then I, I came home, uh, well, came to my apartment, or uh, what is it, what is it, the dorm room, I came to my dorm room, I invited my wife over, which is my girlfriend at the time, I... Uh, she let herself in basically my roommates let her in and then uh, i came home later that night i was super drunk and uh you know i was i was feeling happy because my 20th birthday weekend feeling really good and i i initiated the um heavy petting <laughs> as you will <laughs> and we're uh kissing and talking and uh then i'm I'm like, you know what? This isn't for whatever reason in my head. I was like, this, this doesn't feel right. I'm not uh, in the mood like I thought I was. And so then I'm like, what is going on? This doesn't feel right. I say that to her, and she's like, what are you, what are you talking about? What's, uh, what do you mean? It's, it feels fine. And then uh, I start getting all weird because I'm super drunk beyond drunk <laughs> and uh at this point i'm also naked so that's important uh, <laughs> and um then i i'm like i don't get why this isn't working out the way that it should be the um the the act the coitus act <laughs> can, I, um, can i clarify something like are we talking like is this a performance problem <laughs> no 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 okay. no performance problem ah uh, yep we're ready to go <laughs> it's just, it's just something was up something was up okay. yeah i was like ah, i don't get what what's going on this isn't connecting um and uh then i <laughs> we started arguing because that's what happens when you're a young kid in a relationship and uh we were arguing and arguing and it's not working out and we're, and then i'm I, somehow i start crying uh it was not normal for me i'm not a crier right. <laughs> i start crying and then for whatever reason i uh i end up on the ground with my my face in the ground and my ass up in the air. Oh, sorry. Can I say yeah. <laughs> my butt? <laughs> my butt up in the air, crying. And I'm like, why isn't this working out? Um, that is uh, the most embarrassing heavy petting story <laughs> that I have to date. Uh, <laughs> so, what does she think of all that? Oh, she laughed at me. She definitely uh, laughed and went home. She went. <laughs> It was at that moment where I was like, this is a keeper right here. This is uh, yeah. <laughs> Who knew you were such a girl when you got drunk? Uh. <laughs> That's not even, that wasn't a normal thing. I don't know what happened that night. <laughs> uh, That's funny. This normally doesn't happen, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what is the best compliment anyone's ever given your naked body? 
Um, I actually had a, a, a nickname back in the in the day. Um, it was the Destroyer. That was the nickname <laughs> there. So Destroyer. It, it goes with my web uh, my web link. If you <laughs> Which would be a good time to bring that up right now. <laughs> If, if someone would like to follow you and see what you have going on, or why don't you just give us a list of of um, anything you have upcoming or anything you would like to promote? Let's just go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my website is bigblackschlongs.com. Um, that's big black s h l o n g s dot com. And, that explains uh, a lot. <laughs> Filling in those holes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and then uh, cool things I have going on. Um, so I'm actually bringing a drunken night out to a live streaming uh, type of show soon. Mm -hmm. I think the 20th, uh, May 20th will be the first show date for the live streaming version. And then I'm also a part of a new show that me and some other people created out in uh, Texas area, Austin. Uh, Money in the Bank Productions, uh, we created a show called Triple Threat, where performers will come up and they'll do a bunch of different stuff. Uh, it's it's going to be like a multi-talent show. So it's going to be fun. Just think like Jamie Foxx or um, I can't remember the other rapper's name that made ATL right now, but people that can do right. singing, acting, Multiple dancing. Multiple talents, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. it's going to be a comedy version of that. So. Sweet. Sweet. Well, <clears throat> let me make sure I didn't forget anything. You didn't have you anything else you'd like to add? You're so charming. I could keep you on here forever, but you know, <laughs> we've covered everything I think we need to cover. I love seeing you. I've never I was thinking this earlier today. I've never seen you in front of an audience that didn't just absolutely fall in love with you never seen you had a bad set so thank you um, there's been bad sets though <laughs> i just never have seen sense. them i guess so <laughs> yeah. all right well thank you for um talking to me uh stay safe and i hope to see you someday someday <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully we get out of this lockdown i know i know we're all we're all kind of in a state of not knowing what's going on but all right. All right. It's good to see you. Kiss the baby for me. All right. Have a good one. All right. You too. Bye bye. What's on her mind? She's a big, big girl in a skinny woman's world. Now she's a big, big girl in a skinny woman's world. Now she's a big, big girl. Big girl